as Culture Shock are leaving the OCN, being able to pick up a lot of their movies at a rather reasonable price. I jumped on the American Scream, one that I really kind of fancied when it was first announced. A group of uh, a family go on a holiday to a wintry location to a small town and bad things happen. It has this weird kind of uh, feeling to it where it has these moments of terror and horror but it's always tinged with humour as well. It's a horror comedy of sorts and it feels very much like dead and buried as we follow our characters into this town where everything just feels a little bit off. There doesn't seem to be very many young people there. Everybody is part of this society and they all know something that we do not. And as we watch this a group of people try to enjoy their holiday, they become under attack from unseen forces as we watch it unfold. Now, I really did enjoy this one quite a lot. Do you hear me? Damn, it's cold. Now, I was kind of interested in this one because it just looked like a whole lot of fun and it is... It's one of those ones where it's not to be taken seriously. Its tongue is very much in its cheek. It has these moments of ridiculous humour and uh, funny moments. It has characters doing some stupid things, but you can understand it because it feels fitting to the characters. You know, we've got a couple of boys that are just kind of uh, egging each other on to do silly things who slowly start to realise what's going on. You get scenes of murder and attacks throughout this one. But it's the kind of um, unnerving tension uh, that's going on here that I really kind of like within this because a lot of the, the townsfolk are very duplicitous and they feel very much like they all know something that's going on. Uh, there's moments where whenever the adults leave the room, everything just seems to turn into that super creepy moment. There's a moment in a diner where uh, one of the adults leave and everybody just kind of turns and stares at the kids and it's just, it's just freaky. Um. <laughs> the, the machinations of why everything is happening, I kind of bought at the end of it as well. It's an 86 minute movie, it, it doesn't outstay its welcome, it's very entertaining, very funny and something that I would happily sit down and watch again. There is a weird sort of war going on here between the ideas of the film as it kind of focuses on one tangent and then quite quickly uh, jumps the tracks and goes onto something that's completely contradictory to what's happening in the film. But I liked that. It kept me uh, on the back foot constantly watching for these changing ideas throughout the film and how they would tackle certain sequences. It feels like it's fueled with a kind of nightmarish energy that really kept me on my toes enjoying what was happening. You know, one minute you'd be watching a party, next minute someone's being beheaded in the most brutal fashion and you're just like, where did that come from? Why did that happen? Why is nobody talking about it? What the hell is it on to now? It just kind of moves along. Like I said, it's a really quick film. It's really kind of weird and tonally strange. Visually, it's a little bit odd as well and not really uh, stands out. But I found this one to be hugely entertaining. Which is the main thing you kind of want with a movie. Um, yes, it does have these inconsistencies and it does feel a little low budget. But I feel that all these things add to creating something that was genuinely fun. Something that I would genuinely go back and watch again. I'm hoping the rest of the Culture Shock films has this kind of weird, manic energy that keeps me hooked on what I'm seeing. I would love to know your thoughts on the American screen if you picked it up, whether you thought it was great, poor, fell somewhere in the middle. Let me know in the comment box below. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program and manvfilm.com always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.